Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. But before we begin, let's do a little revision on what we were able to achieve in the first video. So in the first video, we tried to prove the reflection coefficient when x was equal to zero. So in today's video, we are going to learn or prove the reflection coefficient when x is equal to minus L. So let's begin. So we concluded that for the voltage in space and time, we had V plus A minus gamma X plus V minus A positive gamma X. And for the current, we have, obviously in space and time, we had V plus out of Z naught E minus gamma X minus V minus all over Z naught e positive gamma x but we already know that gamma was equal to alpha plus j beta and whatever we are doing here is for a lossless transmission line which means there are no attenuations there are no losses so for that we will see that gamma will be equal to j beta because the attenuation constant that is this one is equal to zero for a lossless transmission line the attenuation constant is equal to zero so therefore we can see that gamma is equal to j beta so for that let us replace all these equation that is for the voltage and the current wherever we see gamma let us replace it with j beta so for voltage space and time you will see that it V plus E, we have negative gamma over here. So if we replace it by J beta, we are going to have minus J beta X plus V minus E. We have gamma here, so we just replace it with J beta and our X. Similarly, for the current, that is X and T in space and time, we are going to have V plus out of z naught e we have negative gamma over here so it's going to be minus j beta x minus v minus all over z naught e we have positive gamma over here so we have j beta x so we want to find the reflection coefficient when x is equal to negative l so at x Cos minus L, so which means that in this equation that is 1 and 2, wherever we see x, we will replace it with minus L. So let's start. So the voltage at minus L, V plus E minus J beta. We have x over here, and now we are seeing that if x is equal to minus L, so I will place this x with minus L plus v minus e j beta we have x over here so i'll replace it with minus l so the voltage at minus l will be equal to v plus we have minus minus over here so it will be positive so j beta l plus v minus if minus l multiplies through this one we are going to have minus j beta l so for the voltage this is what will happen so we've proved that the voltage at minus l is equal to v plus e j beta l plus v minus e minus j beta l so if you remember reflection coefficient is always equal to the reflected wave out of the incident wave so looking at our equation this here is our incident wave and this one is also our reflected wave so if you are saying that reflection coefficient is equal to the reflected wave over the incident wave then the reflection coefficient at minus l will be a reflected wave that is this one so v 
B minus E minus J beta L out of the incident wave, that is this one, so V plus E J beta L. Very good. If you remember, the reflection coefficient at zero or x equals zero, we had V minus over V plus, right? So that is the same thing that we see over here. That is V minus over V plus. So we can represent V minus over V plus by reflection coefficient at zero. So coming down, the reflection at minus L, we can say that it is equal to reflection at X equals zero. And we will have E minus J beta L over E J beta L. But from indices, from indices we can say that this down here will come up, so it will be like E minus J beta L. Since it is division, it is going to be negative up from indices, so minus J beta L. So the reflection coefficient at x equals L, we have reflection coefficient at 0, and we have here to be E, this minus this, we are going to have minus 2, j beta l so for reflection coefficient at x equals minus l this is your reflection coefficient thank you for watching